Hey there, Hoopsters, and welcome to the Waratah Championship Wrap. I'm Steve Carfino, and this time I'll be bringing you all the results from round 11. Let's start in Manly as they take on the Newcastle Hunters. Kevin White was a man amongst boys. 17 points and 11 rebounds. But say hello to his little friend as Luke Cooper dishing out double-figure assists once again. 11 assists to take down the Newcastle Hunters. Reese Martin from the Hawks, if you're not going to suit up, Give me a call, it affects my tips. Maitland got 76 points out of their starters at 60%. As a matter of fact, the big three, Turner, Vague, and Router. Basketball's version of Lethal Weapon 3, coming to a basketball stadium near you. The Comets just manhandled Hornsby by 38 points. Comets had six players scoring double figures, leading the way for them was Laurent Leahy's 19 points and 16 rebounds. And Blake Borgia got it going outside the three-point line. The Comets, 30 points in the third quarter, put them away. Last week's match of the round turned into the thrashing of the round as the Sutherland Sharks dropped 101 points on Bankstown. Daniel Sapokas was on fire outside the three-point line, perfect five for five. And super sub, Ben White, Five of seven. As a matter of fact, Sutherland shot the ball at 50% from the field, a whopping 59% outside the three-point line. Now, this is a good game, I know, because I was there. Hills had Norse on toast. They're doing a great job defensively on Jared Weeks, but the depth of Norse just wore down Hills and Norse with the win. Caught up with Ben Knight after the game. This is what he had to say. Been a tough one against Hills. They came out playing with a lot of energy. Yeah, they sure did, Steve. They were, they're, a, they're a tough group, you know. The Brotherson just come back from Germany. You know, he's a four-year college player, and uh, he makes a big difference to their team. You know, uh, Josh Chapman shooting shooting the ball real well at 44%. We left him open too many times, and they hurt us early. And then uh, 30 paint points in the first uh, half, and uh, we were down. You find teams are you know playing you, playing you tough. I mean, the team at the top of the ladder, everybody kind of. You know, plays their best game against you. I think everyone sort of lives for us. You know, it's one, one thing. And I think that's a challenge for our group to just consistently be wanting to get better in these last 12 weeks of the season. So, uh, you know, it's tough because guys are in and out with work or, or different things going on. We missed Jared for the last sort of three or four weeks. Um, we'll lose Fab to college soon. So, you just got to uh, work with what you got and um, hopefully we'll keep getting better each week. All right, thanks for joining us on the War Tar League Red. I'll have to wrap it up with the Magic Man. Just as I expected, Hills were able to get the split on the weekend. Paul Brotherson is hooping for the Hornets. 21 points and 11 rebounds, but the player to watch, this young kid can go. David Heyman, almost a triple-double against Norse on Saturday, backed up by 20 points and six assists on Sunday in their win against Newcastle. The White Boys combined for 45 points and 20 rebounds as Manley pulled off the elusive double. After a week off of the competition and just chilling, let's just laze on over to the ladies. Newcastle went on the road to Manly and got the win, 82 to 61. Newcastle with six ladies in double figures to get the win. Illawarra, just too dominant for Maitland. Courtney Dean, my Instagram partner, she follows me, I follow her. She had 21 and 13 in that game, but it was the defense from Illawarra just, just smothering. Eight points, three points, and nine points in the first three quarters to get it done. After being down nine at halftime, the Comets got out a can of Mortine and got rid of them some spiders, holding them to 28% from the field and one of 14 outside the three-point line. Get it done. One versus two turned out to be a shootout at the OK Corral. Hills picked up the win on the road. They were on fire. 53% from the field, 54% outside the three-point line, and also did the work on the line at 78%. Hills score the weekend double. Windy was strong, get it? Windy strong, 18 points at 80%. But overall, a balanced attack from the Hornets, improving. They're the team to beat. Thanks for watching the Waratah Championship Wrap. Remember to share and like. And if you have anything that you want to put on the show, get to us on Basketball New South Wales or tweet me at Carfino Magic.